Welcome to Uinta Outdoors. Today we're going to go ahead over some of the baits I'm going to be taking for my first time ice fishing. I'm super excited about it. So I think we're going to go ahead and do this video in a three part series. So today we're going to go over some of the tackle I'm going to be taking with me. And then next week we'll have the ice fishing trip. We're going to head out to Schofield Reservoir here in Utah. Then the next week we'll come back and we'll kind of go over some of the baits that worked really well and some of the ones that weren't working quite as good and hopefully get some of your guys' feedback on how I've been how I'm doing with it and some of your guys' fishing techniques as well. I'm always here to learn and get better and I just love fishing and hunting and the outdoors so I just want to be the very best I can be and and help you guys as well. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, to go ahead and start out, I'll kind of go over some of the plastics I'm thinking about using. Show you guys that. So I've got one of these white little ribbon tails. I've got them in a couple different colors. So I've got white. I've got this kind of neon green with some silver sparkles in it. And then I've got some of these really little yellow guys. I'm hoping to hoping those will be really good for some pan fish. And I'm gonna rig those up with just a jig head. So I've got some of these little just silver bodied red hook jig heads. So the way I'm thinking about doing that is just go ahead and taking my white ribbon tail and we'll go ahead and go right through the nose down a little ways and then we'll pop out the side run it right back there just something kind of like that something that's going to make some good action make some good action in the water and yeah something like that so go ahead and move on and show you some of the other baits I've got. So I've got those that jig head. I've got a couple of them. So I've got a neon green one with a red eye and, and black eye. Some of these really tiny tungsten jigs. This one I've got kind of hooked up the same way as the other one. A little ribbon tail on the back. And then I've got some of these right here. See if it'll focus on them. There we go. Some of these. I've never used too many of these. These glow in the dark. And so and they've kind of got that seashell type texture to them. Seashell or like a bug. So I'm super excited to try these out. I've got these in this kind of whitish glow, glowing color. And then I've also got them in a kind of a pinkish. There we go. Pink and green color that also glow in the dark I'm very excited about that then for some reason i bought these little guys i don't know what i'm ever going to use them for because they're super super tiny but we'll go ahead and try them out as well and of course another tungsten jig just that neon green color with black eyes and yeah, we'll go ahead and see how they do. That one also glows. Then let's move over to the, I've got a couple of these little squid tubes. Should give us good action. I'm not sure how I'm going to fish these yet. So if you guys have any ideas or anything that way, go ahead and leave me a comment. Show me kind of how you're thinking of doing it. I've got another little one. This one's just a clear one with some black dots in it and little appendages off the back. And then I've got some of these little swim baits that, you know, kind of look some of these minnow looking things. So this one's just that green with the black top with red on the bottom. And then I have it in blue and white and a white as well. I really like the white color. I've always had really good luck in colder weather with um, white coloring. 
So white spinners, white anything like that. These white uh, swim baits. So I'm super excited to see if that also transfers over into ice fishing. So, and then I'm going to go right into the cast masters. So right here I've got that pink and blue and white, which I'm super excited to try out. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a regular like night crawler on the bottom of these. Just split them in half. So I've got that one. I've got a red and gold. A silver, pure silver, and then I absolutely love these little spinner baits here. So this is the Panther Martin number one. Black and gold has always been my color. That and white. So we got that golden spoon on there, a black with yellow dot body. So and then it just a treble hook there at the bottom. I love, love these, especially if you can get them in a number 15. You can get them out there really far and then just slow retrieve them. They do really, really well. And then we're just going to go with a regular old hook and worm. And we'll go ahead and see what that does for us as well. Like I said, we'll just do some of those night crawlers probably just right there on the end and just kind of jig it down at the bottom. Alright, I'm super excited to get out and try out all these baits, get out there on the ice and see what we can do. I'm super excited, it's my first time out there, uh, it should be an adventure. Thank you guys for watching, if you do like this kind of content, go ahead and like and subscribe and you don't want to miss out for the first time ice fishing, and there'll be plenty plenty more of it to come, it's only the end of December so we've still got plenty of ice going on, and I would love any feedback you have. Go ahead and leave that in the comments, and I'll come out right back to you. Thank you again for checking out UNT Outdoors. I appreciate it.